Welcome back to the MSF Weekly Forecast. My name is Dragon Rider, and this is your breakdown for the week of April 16th. This week, there will be a total of three events. One of these events involves a lot of missing data, the other involves Blitz, everyone's favorite game mode for sure, and the last event is going to involve spending ISO 8 campaign energy so you can start hoarding if you do want to help out your alliance. Starting things off this week, we do have the Revenge of the Blitz web milestone, a very strange choice for a event name as the devs know how much we can't stand Blitz, but I do digress. As far as Blitz events go, this one is actually not too bad. You'll need 2,500 Blitz credits daily for 7 days. You will get 750 points from your daily objectives, so you'll only need to make up another 1,750 points. You should be able to do this in about 2.5 rotations, assuming you're getting about 40 wins per rotation. Clearing these milestones daily will be very important because you will net you 56,000 planetary orb fragments as well as 35,000 earthling needed direct milestone points. Keep in mind these planetary orbs will be very crucial as they are part of the Peter B. Parker unlock method. For the main milestone this week, we do have the Earthlings Needed event. This will be a 7 day event with a lot of missing info for the higher milestones. I am absolutely stunned by the lack of info as Scump Scopely is normally so thorough with their blogs. However, with the info we do have, you will need to spend 1,140 campaign energy daily and collect those web milestones mentioned from that previously Revenge of the Blitz event. This will get you down to milestone 12, which is going to have all of the monthly currency as well as the monthly item. You'll also net a bonus 40 Peter B. Parker shards. The missing info for this event is going to be how many planetary orbs we're going to be getting from the free claims, the calendar, which will be lasting approximately 5 days, and also from the ISO 8 hard campaigns starting on April 17th going through April 18th, which also ties into our next event. Our last event for this week is going to be the Attack of the Planets Alliance Milestone. This will be a fairly simple 6 day alliance event, spending ISO 8 energy and collecting your allied supply for orbs. You'll need to spend about 1000 ISO 8 energy daily as well as collect those allied supply for orbs from the web store. Each of these will net you approximately 144,000 points for a total of 288,000. This easily gets you to Milestone 16 which is going to get you all of the monthly currency. In other news, the blog last week mentioned that the Undying team would be required for the next iteration of the Escape from Kiln. Scopely has since changed the wording on this, and they are now rec recommended for this game mode. Hopefully you caught my forecast last week and haven't started working on this team yet. Also joining the recommended teams will be the new Spider Society team. In addition, we have also found out that the Extreme X-Men team will become farmable this week. Looks like Nightcrawler will be going to the Cosmic Crucible store, Sunspot is going to the Heroes Hard Mode on Node 4-6, and Forge will be joining the War Store. And our last little bit of news for the Hardcore Raiding Alliances, and those of you that are trying to get into Dark Dimension 7 as soon as possible, Scopely has also teased a new raid coming into the game. People are already speculating that this will be a new Greek raid, a new version of the Incursion raid, such as Incursion 3, or something new altogether. The one thing we do know for sure is that Spider Society will be needed for this new content. We will have more info on this new raid, hopefully next week. And that's going to be it for your MSF Weekly Forecast. Tune in next week, where we will break down next week's events, as well as everything else coming to Marvel Strike Force in the coming weeks. So if you did like a quick breakdown of next week's events without all that extra fluff, or you just don't want to read that weekly blog, please feel free to like and subscribe, and share with your alliance mates. Once again, my name is Dragon Rider, and as always, if you want to do better with these events, all you need to do is whale harder.